Hey everyone, it's Ronan Segal, your accordion teacher here, and I got a question from a student who just ordered an accordion and it came with a new set of straps. And his question is, how do I install accordion straps? And so I thought, let me walk you through how to install accordion straps. I have a confession. I've never installed new accordion straps, but I thought, let's go through it together. Now, my straps on both of my accordions are ripped. And as you can see, on one of them, I have a uh, a screw and a nut holding it together on one side and on my white accordion ooh, I have a zip tie holding it together right this piece of plastic um, take better care of your accordion than I do uh, I, I play a lot and my straps rip so I'm probably due for some new straps but I thought let's take apart my existing straps and put them back on so let's take apart our accordion. I'll try and show you how I do it. So this one I have to leave. This accordion strap is gonna rip, I think any, probably in a, f accordion straps usually rip at the exact time that you're asked to play. Uh, I've had accordion straps rip during gigs and I sort of run to the person's garage. So by the way, I'm just, un let, me, let me see what I did. So I'm unhooking it. This is gonna be there, uh, undoing it. So this is what we're aiming for, right? Um, like that, and let's take it apart at the bottom. Will I be able to recreate this? Probably not, but let's hope for the best. It's an exercise for both of us. Okay, so your accordion strap, let's put this down. We don't need the accordion anymore right now. So this is what the complete accordion strap looks like. Uh, this person that sent me the email, his strap came in two parts. Your strap may look like this. These were really wonderful, velvety, luxurious accordion straps. But as you can tell, there's a point of failure here where it rubs against the accordion. Um, this velvety material sits over your shoulder. It's great. Um, this other part is what sits in the accordion. So let's put it together. Your accordion straps will arrive by mail or from the store in two pieces. Let's put them together. Now, my accordion strap, I could tell based on these indentations that this was at the bottom. So let's hook up these two pieces together. These, this is going to go here. I'm not an engineer by trade. Let's just try and put it together. So big buckle and a small buckle. Let's use the big buckle and this side, right? Versus the small side, the big side goes in and I'm going to use my previous hole, but let's, let's put it in. I'm a smaller person. So I'm using the smallest accordion, the, sm the, the shortest hole. Good, and after I put it together, that's what it should look like. It's a long piece of leather. There should be a top and a bottom. Is there a difference? Yeah, so the top should have this piece because it sits over your shoulder, the thicker piece, and the bottom should have the narrower piece. Uh, and now let's grab our accordion and try and put it together. <laughs> So my accordion looks like this. I'm going to try and do this backwards because let's make things more difficult. Um, now I have the, I'm just going to replicate what I have on this side, um, which means the thick side I'm going to put through here. You'll see that the leather, uh, there's a nice part of the leather and the reverse side of the leather, the reverse side, I'm going to be pushing like this because the reverse side is going to be on the inside here right and then I'll run it through this uh, this piece I'm gonna go through my old hole again I'm making it the tightest I have another video on uh, how to wear your accordion and that's more of a sizing video this is just gonna be the strap installation so it looks like that and then this bottom part let's see I'm gonna run through the bottom so again, there's an inside part of the leather and an outside part. I'm going to take the inside of the leather, the not pretty side, 
run it through the bottom. Obviously going by feel here. There we go. It's gonna fold in on itself and go through this strap. Boom, and let's tie it together. And just wind it back. Oh, it didn't go through the hole. So a little bit confusing, but there we go. You know you, sorry, I should press the, the air hole. You know you did it correctly. If um, up on top you have one accordion strap facing left, one accordion strap facing right. Obviously this one has a rivet in it, um, but that's what the straps should look like. One like this and one like that, because these are gonna be your shoulders. Um, I think they're the same length and you can adjust the length based on here. Mine are both at the smallest position. This one's just ripped. Um, and then at the bottom as well. Um, yeah, my, my right one is slightly different than my left one in terms of how I wear it. But again, look at my accordion sizing video. I like my accordion right here below where if I was to wear a tie, it would be right below here where the the knot is. Um, and that's how we put on accordion straps. If you have any questions, let me know. Also, you could probably contact the person that created the straps, whether it's Honer or Waltmeister or some sort of independent maker. You can obviously email them and hopefully they'll walk you through it. Thank you. Hope you found this useful. Enjoy. <laughs>